Hello everyone and welcome back Meet Department here. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today guys. We're back in Idle Hero Simulator guys and the long anticipated update has come this weekend. I'm finally able to jump in, give it a test and if you saw my last video you saw me give you a tip on what to do before your first reincarnation but man there's been some major changes to the reincarnation dude. If I hop in the circle now it says you must be level 100 to reincarnate guys so we're gonna go over everything and what that actually means for you as a player is it gonna be easier harder or what i was super confused when i came home and wanted to do my reincarnate and it said 100 i was like does it go up every single level if that's the case how do these dudes on the the top of the leaderboard have thousands of reincarnations if it gets harder every single time so yeah there's been some changes guys it now requires level 100 no matter what Bruh. reincarnation you are guys I have five days, five and a half days played. I still only have the one reincarnation. I'm at level 94 right now and I just cannot get up there to do it again. And it seems like the game's getting harder as you progress and not easier. And you know what? I don't know what the reasons are, but I'm not sure this is actually the best thing for the overall health of the game. Now, these dudes on the top of the leaderboard already have a ton of bonus DPS, right? You get 20% bonus every reincarnation, guys. So this guy's got like 30,000 bonus DPS. So all these guys have like 20 to 30,000 extra DPS. So for them, getting to level 100 is probably not going to be that difficult. Plus, all of their random heroes have all extra DPS. They got a bunch of awesome legendary relics. And yeah, it's not going to hurt them whatsoever. So this wasn't an update to kind of... Uh, close the gap it's actually i think helping the higher end and those of us that are newer and those of you that are coming in newer especially free to play i don't know if this is a good thing guys so let's go ahead and explain exactly what's going on first of all there are two new islands to the game that's part of the reason so before the game ended at level 80 but then there became you know the level 81 through 90 islands and 91 through 100 basically or whatever the case may be as you see i'm in the 90s right now so this is the island i'm in now i'm able to kill the level 94 guys actually pretty decently with my team and as you see all of my heroes are upgraded to level 100 or higher my mad scientist is actually the one that got the 50 percent damage increase for my reincarnation that's why he's got a yellow name and a yellow star actually next to his name over there but he's not one of the strongest guys, so his DPS is only like 208 billion, which isn't that crazy. As you see, my DPS is 196 quintillion, and my attack is 1.18 quintillion. And this is what I'm working with here. I have a Sacred Mallet from the Legendary Chest, 500k damage, 4 times attack damage. And I have 3 turkeys given 60% increased coins each, because the coins are awesome. And then I got the Star Spellbook giving a plus 3 damage to every reincarnation that I get. Unfortunately, that's only one reincarnation right now, so it's an extra 3% damage. But... If you see if I progress on to the next level, now I don't have really any that many boosts to actually use. I can use number one and two. Uh, I already used a bunch of them before to try, but I don't even stand a chance right now. And that's with a 5.37 quintillion damage overall between my DPS of heroes and my attack. So as you see, it's not gonna it's not gonna get down there. So I don't know how much damage you actually need to get past this boss, but I'm hearing the level 100 boss is even tougher, guys. So. This is like an insane grind because I feel like it's taking longer to actually get more rebirths than it should. It should be, in theory, slightly faster and easier, more fun to stack up the rebirths. And that's what all the guys on the leaderboard were doing before, right? The guys with hundreds and thousands of them, I mean, they've been spamming through, taking advantage of the game when it was level 80. And now it's like, okay, everyone else, uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. So I think some reverts. Could possibly occur i really don't know there's a lot of hype for it and discussion back and forth in the official discord for the game so i don't know what's coming but i think something needs to be tweaked because this balance does not feel right at all guys actually is a little bit demoralizing because the amount of play time is insane five and a half days and i'm not even able to do a second reincarnation yet that's a lot of work a lot of time investment really for not much gains guys so besides that that's basically what the deal is so i really want to apologize it's not my fault you could ask talk to the developers of the game but oh if you haven't gotten your first reincarnation yet it's gonna be a little bit tougher guys so i hope it gets a lot easier but let's jump into what else is new anyway since we are here because there are a lot of new things there is a brand new hero called the reaper so here he is i actually already bought him and yeah he's basically a reaper and his uh his damage is this at a level 100 745 quadrillion and his skills 
cost a lot. I don't even have his first one. It's 139 SX just for the first one, guys. But then the second one increases DPS of all heroes, and then it goes on to increase in his damage, and then the replenish skill. I don't know what all this does, but getting that amount of gold, you basically probably need, uh, yeah, a lot of reincarnations to get that much gold in the first place because you'll be able to kill things a lot faster to collect it. So I don't really know how I'm going to actually do this right here or how many more days it's going to take. Ooh, a tre treasure chest. So if you don't know, a little, little, little tip, these treasure chests, random spawns, and they give a ton of gold when you kill them, dude. When this guy dies, he's going to give me a lot of gold coins. So there we go. I just went up, oof, a good amount of coins for killing him way more than killing this regular dude right here as we see so just keep that in mind the treasure goblins actually pretty cool but other things there's a limited time spooky chest as well guys in the game if you go to the shop you'll see it's right here it's 800 bow bucks in the shop guys but if you go to the featured tab this is where you can see all of the different thumbnails you could also spend 1100 of your gems to try to get this stuff now we did it on a different account a little bit earlier and we got one of these hammers or something right here i don't know what it was i think it might have been this 35 percent one and it wasn't that great to be honest with you and i'm hearing a lot of speculation that the eyeball pet is really the only thing that's overpowered it gives you 100 percent increased dps so that is pretty strong so i'm not sure about the rest of them but this right here whether or not you should get this over the legendary crate i'm not actually quite sure guys i'm not really quite sure there's a cool new custom. I mean, this does cost some bow bucks as well, but you could spend gems or or you could unlock all colors. Okay, so you could change your portal color for gems or you could use bow bucks to just unlock all the colors and change them whenever you want. So that's kind of cool. Okay, I don't know if I necessarily want to do that right this moment, but I could change pink to blue or white or red if I really wanted to. Very cool. There's new achievements I've been saving right here. They're playtime achievements. So I got one, two, three, four for playing over one day. I have five days, obviously. So the first one gives 35 gems. The second one, 100 gems. Then 205. And then this one, 310 gems. So not too crazy, but it still does help. And at seven days, you'll get 500 gems. So I have 1,063 gems right now. So that is actually pretty cool. I'm wondering if when you actually do get this, if it unlocks it permanently. Do you think I should give it a try, guys? What if I go ahead and do the blue one for 50? Will I always have the choice? Oh, I think you do. You just use gems to unlock it. Oh, okay. So it does stick. Well, that's that's kind of worth it then. So now I have a nice blue portal there. So it's not quite as as insane looking as the pink. Okay. So that's that's not a bad deal for gems. That's, that's not a bad deal whatsoever. Um, lastly, there's a friends boost. I don't have any now, but there will be an icon that has like a little powered up guy. And you get 5% damage increase per friend. Uh, that you have in the server so that may be of use to some of you guys but uh yeah so that's it i just wanted to let you all know about the changes to reincarnation it is definitely a lot harder and you need to beat level 100 to do it a lot of people have been spending bow bucks to do the uh where is it even the boosts the skip level you could skip the boss levels and in theory be able to do it but that's you know pay to win pretty much because you are paying to get to the next level it's not a lot but it adds up to a lot of bow bucks and a lot of you out there just don't have bow bucks so yeah we'll see we'll we'll be paying attention keeping a close eye if the reincarnations get reverted revamped all that kind of thing i'll definitely bring that news to you guys because i want to keep on playing this but at the state it is right now Ooh, it is a grind dude so that's all i had i hope you found this video helpful if you have any thoughts or comments drop them in the comments below guys i'd love to hear from you guys and hear your point of view but you know what that's all i have for today guys so thanks for sticking with me and just remember until next time stay positive keep swinging and have a great rest of your day Bye bye